Welcome Gina, welcome Ted, and welcome to this new partnership between AJO and UBP. My first question uh, is about independency. You are an independent firm, like we are, and I would like to know how important it is for you. Uh, we think it's very important. It gives us the ability to focus on our clients' needs instead of focusing on the needs of a parent company. Um, we also have a commitment as a member of the partnership. We are committed to remaining independent. Independence also allows us to offer incentives to colleagues uh, to join AJO, become partners of the firm, and continue this uh, uh, dedication to client interests. You're a quant manager. Can you maybe elaborate a little bit on what is exactly quant at AJO? My definition of quant uh, is the title of a book that was published a number of years ago and it said Ben Graham was a quant. And indeed, if Benjamin Graham lived during the computer revolution, he too would be using computers to better apply his trade. We take traditional measures of things like value and simply do them faster and hopefully more accurately with high-speed computers. Otherwise, the investment philosophy is the same as Ben Graham's. Well, if I could borrow a quote from uh, the former Secretary of Defense of the United States, Robert McNamara, a computer doesn't substitute for judgment any more than a pencil substitutes for literacy, but writing without a pencil is of no particular advantage. I think what he means to say and how it applies to our work is that quant is a tool to apply what others would think of as fundamental investment ideas. You spoke about value. Uh, it's a wide definition and many investors have a different one. What is your definition of value? We rely on what's become a pretty traditional measure of value, which keys off of, of book value. You say, what is the intrinsic worth of a company? And that is, at least according to some, measured by its underlying book value. We expand on that notion and look at elements of management, of momentum, and market sentiment to determine which value stocks should be value stocks and which shouldn't and the latter implies they're going to go up in value. When we first met you in Philadelphia, we acknowledged the fact that research was a very important component of your success and of the track record that we've been able to contemplate. Can you maybe elaborate about how you've been designing this research? There are two parts to the research that we apply to our investment process. Um, the first is something that happens every day. As a quant, we are reliant upon information coming into our investment process to help us understand the companies and the characteristics of those companies. Garbage in means garbage out, so our researchers are carefully evaluating the information that we are using within our quantitative models. The second way that we apply research is to evolve that quantitative process or our thinking about investing. How can we do a better job at picking companies that have the potential to appreciate? Thank you very much, Gina. Ted? You're welcome. Thank you. Pleasure, Cedric. Thank you.